<clears throat> hey what's up guys how's it going in this video i'm gonna go through this leak code number 67 at binary so this question was asked by facebook for 39 times in the past six months and actually a friend of mine he was asked this question in his interview of amazon as well so i'm gonna go and this question is actually not that bad uh, it's an easy type question so we are given a, a binary number and we need to write a function to perform a, the addition operation for the binary numbers and one immediate approach would be convert this binary number to the regular uh, number and then do a addition on the regular number and then convert it back to the binary number and then convert it to a string and that would work. However, I'm gonna present a uh, more like a, a little bit like a brute force approach uh, in this video, and uh, I hope you. Like. So let's look at some example presented in here. Uh, we are given the binary number one one and one, and then the addition of the two will be one zero zero. For example, number two uh, is one zero one zero, and another number is one zero one one. And uh, the output is one zero one zero one, and how uh, we got those numbers, I'm gonna present it in the following. Just a reminder. Uh, I I know uh, many of you know how to do it, but uh, for those who maybe don't remember, I'm gonna uh, do the calculation by hand, just so you. Uh, it's just a reminder. Just so we. So for the first number. Uh, for the first example, uh, 1, 1, and 0, 1. As you can see, uh, for the first two digits, it's 1 and 1, as you can see over here. And then we add them, and then we have a carry. So the rule for binary addition is that whenever we have a 2, and then we will carry by 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then we have a 1 as a carry and then become zero. After we have the carry, which is one, and then add one, which is two, and then that will carry as well. So that carry will be at the end, at the beginning. Uh, so it will be one, zero, and zero. That is what is returned. Okay. For the second example, is one, zero, one, zero, add one, zero on one and zero so let's look at the first column zero plus one and that's one and then one plus one which is two which means that we have a one as a carry please remember whenever we have a two and that we always have a carry of one okay so one plus one is two and has a carry of one and that becomes zero because we have a carry now and that carry at the zero and zero in the next column and that becomes one and then the last column will be one plus one which has a carry of two uh which has a carry of one because one plus one equals two so that would be one and zero and that would be the end answer right one zero one zero and one and we will carry out this uh, calculation in coding um uh, in next and at this point feel free to pause this video and try it yourself and basically this is the algorithm I'm gonna implement. So this is the implementation. Let's dive in. It's not too bad in terms of code uh, after a walkthrough review. So for, first we have an edge case. If the given number for A is zero as a string and B is also a string, uh, zero as a string and zero plus zero is just zero. And this is only, this is the only one edge case with a handle uh, for this, uh, this implementation. And we also have a carry that we talked about before. And this is the answer. This is the result that we will return at the end. At the beginning, just an empty string. Okay. And while uh, the A string and the B string, or the, sorry, it's the A string or the B string, either one of them is not empty or this, the carry is not zero. So either one of these three, they are not zero or not empty, and we do the following. So if A is not empty, okay, 
So if you understand that, uh, the code for A, automatically understand the, the code for B. They are just a mirror. Okay. So if A is not an empty string, so the digit we got from A, just we grab the last digit, basically it's the last column. So basically we grabbing, uh, we scan through the A, right? The A string from right to the left. So the first number will be the last digit, the last character of the string, right? So A of negative one of the index in Python, we're grabbing the last character and it will convert that to the integer. Okay, so now for this example, a digit now becomes one as an integer. And then now we are one. So the A string now is one character short, right? So we basically shift the whole thing by um, everything on the left because the, the right the number at the right at the end has been already dealt with. Now we extract it. Basically, this is like a separate. It's a separation of the, the last digit and the rest of the string that we haven't uh, dealt with yet. Okay, so now we have the A digit. Again, so it is the in the first iteration will be just one as a number. And if A is not a string, that we just assign a zero for the A digit just to carry through the rest of the calculation. And for B is the same, right? Uh, we just scan through from the right to left. And for the first iteration will be with one as a number, that's, that's why we convert to an integer and the rest. So B from everything from the left to everything but the last character will be like this. So after the first iteration, the B will be empty string, okay? And then the carry, sorry, not yet the carry, it should be the current. The current number calculated in a, in a current column will be A digit. So the current will be, again, so it will be from the right to the left, as we saw before. The calculation from, from, the, from the right, the right, first column, all the way to the left. And initially, the carry will be zero. So we probably don't need this line, but it doesn't matter, just leave it here. If you want your code to be cleaner, then you probably don't need this guy. And for if the current calculation is equal to zero, and we append a zero as a string to the result, and if the current calculation is a one, which we don't have any carry, and then we will append one as a string to the result. Be careful about the appending over here. It's always from the left. Because every time we push the number, the number will squeeze to the right. Okay. And if the current calculation for that column is equal to two, where we will have a carry, so we will increase the carry from zero, now it's to one. At the same time, after we the carry in this case is only two, and we don't have the le anything left in the current column, so we append, uh, we can concatenate a zero to the result. And in the last case, if the current calculation equal to three, where we have both a carry and a number of one to the column, so we will append or concatenate one as a string to the result, also with a carry of one to the next column calculation. And then we will keep doing this until all of them, the like A will be a string, empty string, B will be empty string, also carry will be zero. We will keep doing that until we reach that condition. And then let's run that. And it works. Let's look a little uh, walk through in here. I think it's pretty intuitive, right? We do it a column by column. We do the first column, check for carry, next column, next, next. And at the end, we have one set carry and it's done. Okay, I think it's pretty intuitive and straightforward.
So for the time complexity, this entirely comes from this while loop, you'll be the maximum of n on m, so which is the, the length, right? We, we will iterate until both of the, the, the string will be empty, so maximum of the, these two strings. And so space complexity, that's entirely comes from uh, the result, right? Again, that will be the maximum of the length of air, length of A and length of B. This is the end of my solution. I hope this is helpful. If it is, please consider like and subscribe. That will be a huge encouragement. And remember, don't trust this video, try yourself. Thank you so much for watching. See you next video.